Hey guys, it's Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look. I received the Boxy Charm box from April. Oh, that's a mouthful, but you know what I mean. And I wanted to create a copper toned, something very bronzy kind of a look. So here it is. Without further ado, let's begin and let's jump straight into what I received in the box first. And then I'll show you how to get this look. And here's this month's box. If you didn't know, BoxyCharm is a $25 monthly subscription service where you get five luxury items. It could be beauty or skincare. So you're pretty much looking at paying about $5 per luxury item. And sometimes we end up paying more at the drugstore. This video, by the way, is not sponsored. I'm not paid to say anything in this video or paid to make the video, but I do have an affiliate link in the description box below. So if you buy anything using that link, I do make a small commission out of it. I want to make that very clear. Having said that, let's see what I received in this month's box. I don't even have to say anything about this first product. You guys know how much I love the Benefit Professional. This is an amazing primer. It retails for $32. It helps to minimize the pores on your face, mattify your skin, smoothen the skin before you apply anything on top of it. The next product I received is this liquid illuminator from Iconic London. Truly iconic. This retails for $41. This is a liquid shimmer. You can either apply directly on your skin to get that almost like you're glowing from within kind of a feel. Or you can also apply it on top of your foundation as an illuminator or a highlighter. I also received the Zoeva Caramel Melange Eyeshadow Palette. Such a beautiful palette. It's $28 by the way. And this particular one is so apt for spring and summer. And the eyeshadows are so blendable, so easy and very highly pigmented. And then we have the Lavish 5-Piece Neon Eyeshadow Brush Collection. I feel like with every box that I receive, there'll be one big ticket item. And I always wonder why it's so expensive. It's just five brushes. But they're nice brushes let me be honest with you it's just that it's a little bit pricey but hey we're getting it for five dollars in the box so it's all good and then we also have the Illuminati Gel Paint Electric Pink and Blue Duo. This is again on the pricey side, $40 for two gel eye pencils. But again, you can use it in your waterline, lash line, inner corners, whatever. Um, personally, I wouldn't pay $40 for two eye pencils. But because I'm receiving it in the BoxyCharm box, I feel like I still paid just $5. So I will use it. Now let's see how the products perform. I pretty much don't have anything on my skin other than a moisturizer. And now I'm going with my Benefit Professional. I'm just taking a tiny bit and see how it has that tinge of peach to it. So it helps with a little bit of color correction as well. That's what I love about this Professional. And of course, it's going to help you fill in those pores and fine lines, smooth out your skin before you apply anything else over it, which will glide like a dream. I received the Murad Hydration Eye Cream in the last month's box and I've been using it ever since and absolutely love it. I tend to get really dry under my eyes and the kind of hydration this gives is bomb. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to be using the Amazing Cosmetics Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Beige and I'm going to be applying it with a damp sponge. This sponge is also from Amazing Cosmetics. And for my neck, if you know me well, I don't like to use a sponge. So I'm going to be using a Kabuki brush from Real Techniques. And then I'm going to be using my favorite concealer just underneath my eyes. This is the Milani concealer in the shade 145. Just applying a tad bit, blending it out. And then I'm going to be setting it with some loose powder. The one that I'll be using is Airspun. 
I usually dip the same sponge that I used to blend out my concealer into the powder and gently press it on the concealer to prevent it from creasing. To very lightly set the rest of the face, I'm going to be using the Studio Fix Powder from MAC in NW35. And then to lock the base, I'm going to be using the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. That way all the powders melt and it looks more skin-like and it also makes my makeup long-lasting. To fill in my brows, I'm using another one of my favorites from Benefit. This is precisely my brows in the shade 4.5. Because I have very thick brows, I don't need to fill too much and make it look crazy. So I'm going to just fill in the sparse areas and bald spots just to give my brows some shape. and another thing that will help with shaping the brows is a concealer so i'm going to clean up just the lower part of my brows with the milani concealer and for eyeshadow base i'm going to be using p louise in rumor 2 and the cool thing about P. Louise is you don't have to set it with powder because it doesn't crease on you. And of course, I want full benefit from it because I want to see how the pigments perform from the eyeshadow palette. Now let's begin the eye makeup. Really excited to use this palette. And the brushes that I'll be using are from Lavish that came with the box. The first shade that I'll be using is Start Soft. I'm going to use it in the outer and inner corners and connect them through the crease and soften everything up because I'm trying to build a halo eye here. And the brush that I'm using is this blending brush from Lavish. I always like to push that eyeshadow outwards in the outer corner that gives an elongated eye look. And then I'm going to use the same eyeshadow in my lower lash line just to soften everything up. Next, I'm dipping into Edible Gem using the flat shader brush. And I'm going to simply place the shadow in the outer and inner corners. And then I'm taking my blending brush one more time and I'm going to use it to soften everything up by blending it out. And whatever residue is left on the brush, I'm going to use it to connect the corners through the crease. For the center of the lid, first of all, I'm going to clean up that flat shader brush and I'm going to dip it into liquid center, which is a beautiful copper toned shimmer. And I'm going to use it right in the center where we've left that gap. And I'm going to blend it out with uh, corners with the other eyeshadows. So again, we have deeper corners and the center is like a bam. To deepen my lower lash line, I'm going to dip into Edible Gem again, but this time I'm using a pencil brush and I'm going to keep it very close to my waterline. In the outer end, I'm going to connect it with my top lash line, but I'm going to leave the inner third open or the inner corner open for a lighter shimmer. And that shade is almost burnt. It's a very antique gold shimmer. I'm going to use it in the inner corner as well as to highlight my brow bones. To give that very bright eye effect, I'm going to be using a lighter metallic shade in the lower waterline. This pencil is from Rimmel. I'm going to list it down below in the description box. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Tati Lashes in TL9. But before that, I'm going to curl my natural lashes and prepare it for the falsies by applying a coat of mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is the HD Volumizing Mascara from Ofra Cosmetics. With the angled brush, I'm taking a little bit of the black gel liner and I'm going to go over my lash band just to hide it. And here is the completed eye makeup look. Absolutely love it. It's subtle yet glamorous. To add some warmth to my face, I'm going to be using a classic bronzer from Benefit. This is the Hula Bronzer. I'm almost using it like a contour because this is a matte bronzer. So you can definitely use it to chisel your face. But see how I like to keep it very subtle. I like to keep all products very subtle. Makeup should just enhance your natural features. It shouldn't look like you've applied makeup on yourself. That's not the purpose of it. So anything that you use, try to take a very little product. And if you need to add more, you can always add more. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
blush i'm going to be using the marble blush from siate london this is something that i received in the boxy charm box sometime last year absolutely love it it's a very mellow toned down blush and that's exactly what i'm looking for today and now for the highlighter i'm using the liquid shimmer from iconic london this is how i like to do it i place small dots and i quickly blend it out with a dry sponge it's a liquid illuminator so don't use a damp sponge and add more liquid to it that'll mix and make your makeup look very clumpy in those spots so use a dry sponge and uh, blend it out immediately as you can see it's pretty intense i also like to go over it with a powder puff and in this case a blender full just to press it down so it looks like the glow is almost coming from within I'm going to keep my lips plain simple. I'm just using a gloss. This is the Glow Gloss from Becca in Champagne Cream, which I received in previous month's BoxyCharm box. This retails for $22, by the way. Uh, but before I apply this, I'm going to line my lips with the Milani lip liner and then I'm going to fill in my lips just with the gloss. Seems like you guys have been liking my natural curly locks so I just let it be and I left my hair out and here is the completed look this is the kind of illuminated face that I absolutely love it has the right amount of illumination it doesn't seem too much it doesn't seem too little it looks fresh and I love that I paired my beautiful copper dye with a nude lip to balance everything out and let me know what you guys think by commenting below and if you enjoyed this video and if you feel like the boxy charm reviews are helpful please let me know that as well and don't forget to give me a thumbs up for your convenience i'm listing all the products that i've used in the description box below and you'll also find my socials there so make sure you're following me on instagram and facebook i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one bye guys